ladies and gentlemen, the crazy, zany, wild artwork of David Gregor. Our next guest has been doing sculptures and artwork for many years. Please give a warm welcome for David Gregorian. So, David, how you doing tonight? Good, thank you, sir. It's a opportunity to be on your show. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you coming. So, you've been doing art and sculptures for a number of years. Tell us how you got into doing art. Yes, I, I actually started as soon as I was old enough to pick up and use crayons and pencils, which was around five and six years old. And I, I just loved the idea of sitting in my space with colors and shapes and forms. For, for me, it was like playing with toys in video games. I would draw characters fighting armies at wars. <laughs> I would draw what I see in my imagination in my inner world. And I also loved it that I could later look back at it and see what I've been, where, through where I have been, and it had become like an album of my life. Nice. And so th that's why my imagination sort of grew up with me. I live in both worlds, my inner world and this world. Nice. Your pieces are unique. What gave you the idea for the pieces you make? Ancient Egyptians, which is my absolute favorite. Mayans, Easter Island, extraterrestrials. I try to imagine what they are like, what their culture, and what their art would be like if I made it. I also love space and astronomy. Tell us about the paintings you brought in. Yes, my painters fall into two categories. The ones where I do general fine art, such as people and nature, dragons. And the second category is the eyes, where all I do is eyes, racing, flying in infinite space. Now I'm told you're deaf and have been deaf for life. How does that affect your perception when making pieces of art? Yeah, well, when I paint people, I don't do ears. They are without ears, and I focus my visuality on movement, colors, and shapes. Okay. What inspires you to make the art you do? Music, movies, my emotions, the, what happens in my life, and the cultures, and wondering what the extraterrestrial life is like, and trying to mimic them. So, in a way, my art is like from outer space. Nice. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give one more big round of applause for David Gregorian. Mm.